Some people call it rap's greatest battle that's never happened, that kind of has happened. Some people call it hip-hop's Cold War. Other people said, why do Drake and Kendrick have beef? I found a video that puts it all together in one concisive thing. They first crossed their creative paths back For in- For anybody who doesn't know the story of Drake versus Kendrick, this is Hip Hop's Cold War. 2011 on Drake's second album titled Take Care and the interlude Buried Alive. It was a time when Kendrick Lamar hadn't even made his major label debut yet. Ring in the horse. mirror, I'm embarrassed. I'm feeling like a suicidal terrorist. React like an infant whenever you- After Buried Alive, he gave happened. an interview in which he told how they- I listened to that whole album and forgot about that song. That's weird. That's weird. But make sure if you haven't, after this, watch my reaction to that Element OG verse where he disses Drake, French Montana, Big Sean, uh, uh, Jay Electronica. I did a show in Toronto. This is my why. first show in Toronto. I think it was the same night we was going back to the hotel and he hit my phone. I, I guess he had got man. the word that, that I was right. in town. He was there for the night working for the album, and he just said he wanted to meet up. We met up, chilled out, got to vibe, see where each other was at and shit. Sometimes you like first some music, but you definitely don't like the actual artist when you sit down and talk to them. That's a real good dude. He got a real genuine soul. We clicked immediately. We had spoken probably one time before that. In the same year, the Club Paradise tour started, in which Drake took ASAP. We gotta keep it tall, bro. Drake really formulated a lot of what is hip hop modern. Let's keep it real. Like that Club Paradise tour is a historic tour, bro. That's really like what popped ASAP Rocky off. That's really what the, like this was an era, bro. This that one train era. If you know, you know. If you remember, you Rocky remember. Rocky and Kendrick Lamar. And later, Drake appears on Lamar's legendary album. And let's also not forget fucking problems. Good guy, what you doing that walk for? When I see that they move, I just wish we would fight less and we would talk more. Kill them all, dead bodies in the hallway. Oh, Don't get involved, listen what, what the, the crystal crystal balls balls say. In How 2013. Bruh, I'm telling you, 2012, that era, if you think about it, the people who were big in 2012, like who are just coming up, are still the biggest rappers in the game. J. Cole, Drake, Kendrick, when ASAP Rocky wants to be, like literally, that's another conversation all together. Kendrick we gotta appeared have on Big Sean's track called Control, a track that caused an uproar in the entire hip hop oh, industry. World. Kendrick's verse is still being talked about to this day. Drake, Big Sean, Ooh. Jay Electron, Tyler McMillan, uh -huh. I got love for you all, but I'm, I'm trying, trying to murder you niggas. niggas. Drake said he was unmoved Shook by being name-checked in the song. As for his initial response to the track, he said that he simply went about my day, went and got dinner, and kept it moving. I didn't really have anything to say about it. It just sounded like an ambitious thought to me. That's all it was. I know good and well that Kendrick's not murdering me at all in any platform. Y'all see it, right? That control verse really is what make Kendrick like public enemy with with his peers really it's really what it did it but it's funny because hip-hop be so so uh fake music entertainment be so fake that a lot of people still worked with kendrick because they had to you feel me don't get it twisted when you see these niggas working together that they like each other nah so when that day Kendrick's presents just itself, I guess we can revisit the topic. In turn, Kendrick Lamar says that people made a fuzz and took words out of context. I think the ones that really took it out of context was the people that we know want to grab an opportunity off the hype of the record, rather than actually tuning in and listening and knowing how hungry I am. A lot of people think it's about talent. That's why they get it wrong. I'm saying that I'm the most hungry in this. I respect the legends in the game. I respect people that done it before me, people Yay! that lost their lives over this because of what they laid down i'm gonna try to come harder and breathe it and live it that's the point of the whole verse what i'm trying to convey through that verse all the ignorance behind it you can kill that noise but it's not honestly bro this is why i love kendrick lamar kendrick lamar is a battle rapper at heart period bro like and this kendrick still i i still genuinely believe kendrick holds this principle to heart still facts i still believe it and I could tell Drake was sick when, when his name was mentioned in that verse. I know. But then that's when Kendrick came back on that BET cipher 
if if you see that BT cipher where where him and Schoolboy Q goes, uh, they tucked the sensitive rapper back in uh, since I dropped that control and tucked the sensitive rapper back in his pajama clothes. Ha ha! Jokes on you. Ha ha! Then him. And I'm bulletproof. He's talking about Drake then. Not that simple. A what an era! Later, Drake's new album comes out, and in the song "The what Language," he responds to Kendrick. I don't know why they've been lying, but your shit is not that inspiring. Oh, I'm and a couple of days later, an interview with Drake comes out in which he appears to be praising Kendrick. Almost like it's very foreshadowing. You know, he ended up making a great record, "Good Kid, Mad City." Just the a connection. Phenomenal you, album, by the way. Album. Phenomenal album. Yeah, round of applause. And then now he's super talented. So yeah. Cheers to Kendrick Lamar. But at the same time, made a couple of jokes about Drake strategic with it. Yeah, nah, he he know how to he know how to be petty murder. Control being a track people would listen to for just a couple of days. And that verse was he's giving people like moments, you know, like that that verse was a, a moment to talk about. But like, if I ask you, for example, like, how does that verse start? No. <laughs> Sometime later, Kendrick takes part in the BET Awards Cypher. Yeah, yeah. nothing been the same since they dropped yeah. control yeah. and took the center of the rapper back. 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 Yeah. Ha, ha. It didn't take long. Yeah, bro. This is hip hop's Cold War. I'm telling you, the day that these two are finally allowed to take their gloves off and battle, it's going to be crazy. I love Drake, right? My favorites go Kendrick, Drake, Cole. Right. I genuinely believe that the reason why they keep it cold war with subliminal shots all these years, I'm going to say I don't think it's because Kendrick. I think Drake is very strategic and very smart and he knows, you know, Kendrick ain't meek. So I got to handle this different. If, if they ever at the battle, Drake has to put down everything and really put everything towards that, which I know he will because Drake is, a, is from the cloth of battle rap. Don't forget, Drake skipped the VMAs or Music Awards to go watch a KOTV battle. For Drake to answer in the remix of the track Shit, where he took a few shots at Kendrick. This line is directed at Kendrick Lamar for always talking about running the West Coast, more specifically LA and Compton. And if those lines might not have been addressed to him, then these 100% were meant for Kendrick. Niggas gon' be fuck niggas, that's why we never gave a fuck when a fuck nigga switched up. Dang. Drake tells how unfairly Lamar acted in his opinion. According to Drizzy, he is the first, first of those who heard Section 80 who began to promote Kendrick to the masses. A joint tour is an example of that. In response, Kendrick began to take shots at him. I feel like he made a decision, you know what I'm saying? And there was a decision to make, you know? He was like, man, I'm either going to go for this moment because I know it's going to be a big moment, or I'm going to, like, take heed to the fact that I have real relationships and I'm going to, like, not do that. It kind of puts you in a box a bit, so... I don't think that put Kendrick in a box. I don't know if I necessarily respect it. You know, we all make decisions. I'm sure he'll be good. He's talented as f During a vibe... Oh, man, this is the greatest battle that, that just had... This is, the, this is the Nas and Jay-Z of our generation. This is the Nas and Jay. Will it happen? I don't know. Cover story think, interview. Drake was asked specifically happened. about whether the language was a sub at Kendrick's control verse. Drake said he didn't want to get into responses and called the language just energy. While he said Kendrick's <laughs> verse was more what? about MCs wanting to be the best, he opened up about why the language would have been perceived a certain type of way. Where it became an issue is that I was rolling out an album while that verse was still bubbling. So my album rollout became about this. And I would say Drake is wrong about people listen, going back and listening to Control. Um, Control is still being talked about to this day. To this day. Drake is right. That was a moment in hip hop. That's one of the most classic. That's going to be a moment in like classic moment in hip hop history. Along with Shug, uh, uh Y'all don't got love for Dr. J and Snoop Dogg like up there with those kind of moments. You know what I mean? Like, so nah, that was, that moment has never died, Drake. It didn't Dang, go away. What am I supposed to do? Nah, we'll be buddy buddy. Mind you, I never once said he's a bad guy or I don't like him. I think he's a fucking genius in his own right. But I also stood my ground as I should. Back, After eight back. months, the conflict seemed to have died down. Drake calls Kendrick a That's king what you think? during OVO Fest. But Kendrick didn't appreciate it. King Kendrick resurrected my vengeance Been dissecting your motor mouth till I break down the engine ah! And there are more notes of despair and resentment ah! from Drake in the song used to They gon' say your name on them airwaves uh -huh. They gon' hit you up right after like it's only rap 
The next point is just some food for thought. In the song, I respect, here's, here's what it is. I fully respect Drake saying, I fully respect Drake taking offense to that verse. The battle rapper in him should fully take offense to that verse, right? Now, I think a lot of people are missing. And I think Drake made a mistake not just coming out and being like, my nigga, you don't say my name on a record challenging me. Talking about you trying to murder something and you think it's going to be Gucci. He tried to play the, no, I don't care. We're all friends. Nah, you should have just. King Coon nah, nigga. Says, and that's why he said it on the song. But I I'd rapper with a ghost rider. What the fuck happened? And a few months later, Meek Mill accuses the most popular hip-hop artist of having ghostwriters. And many fans returned to King Kunta after Meek Mill's statement and wondered, yep. what if Lamar knew about it before everyone else? Yep, then a did. few more months pass, and Things Lamar performs these fast. lines while parodying Drake. Well, at least that's what some people on the internet think. But a rapper with a ghostwriter, tell me what happened to you. Oh, no. Drake in a feature with the game says that if it that. wasn't for pop, he would have taken all the fans of conscious rap. I would have all of your fans if I didn't go pop and I stayed on some conscious shit. In two I months, Dr. Yeah. Dre's album comes out in which Kendrick Lamar takes part. In the song Dark Side Slash Gone, he just re- Isn't this just when you line up the lines back and forth just a great battle? Could you just imagine if niggas, if Drake said, you know what, back to back time, and Kendrick said, word? <laughs> What? Take the silence? We can really go at each other? And if this is the first time y'all are seeing all this, right, it might surprise you. These niggas have had a secret beef since they started, honestly. He I reads his real. lines from Energy. Got enemies, got a lot of enemies, got a lot of people trying to drain me in my energy. Enemies giving me energy, I wanna fight now. Subliminal sending me all of this hate, I thought I was holding the mic down. Mm. And in the song Deep Water, which uses the metaphor life in Compton is like the life of predators of the aquatic world, he tells about a great white shark that breathes beef and uses the number six in the description, which means a lot to Drake. This is the slang designation of his name. Six, six, Toronto. six, six, six. to carry him, they wear him to death, but he no vegetarian. The beef is on his breath, inheriting the drama better than the great. One time, Obama was God. asked who would win the rap battle. And Kendrick Lamar got in a rap battle. Who do you think would win? You gotta go with Kendrick. Facts, I'm, I'm sorry. But we can't fully just go. I fully get why someone would say Kendrick. I never, ever, ever. I think anybody who counts Drake out in a battle is a goofy, honestly. And you don't know enough about Drake or battle rap. Because Drake is too tied into battle rap to lose. Niggas got surprised about back to back. I didn't. I said, this nigga is around battle rappers all the time, nigga. I'm telling you, this nigga won a battle. Drake won a low key battle rap. I, 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 I think Drake got is, too much is, to lose. is uh, an outstanding entertainer, but Kendrick. His lyrics, his last album was outstanding. To which Drake replied, Tell Obama that my verses are just like the whips at the end, they bulletproof. This whole beef is like the Cold War, but it could have been different. Kendrick and Drake were separated from a huge beef by one interview. At least that's what former NFL player and now ESPN host Barcellus Wiley says, who Wiley suddenly started discussing Kendrick and Drake. All I know is that they had some beef and I was present at that moment when this conflict could have reached a scale that we have not seen since the days of Ja Rule and 50 Cent and maybe throw even hands? Ice Cube and NWA. Like throw hands? Everyone tried hard so that no one else would see this interview. It was simply destroyed. I won't say anything else but I was there and heard verbal attacks towards the other. Uh, ring, ring. And then our bosses come up to us and they're like, we have to we have to extinguish that interview. We have to discard it. I was like, what? Why? Wiley refused to that specify which of the two artists uh, made the statements, but if that interview is true, that is like the Zapruder film. That is like if that ever surfaces. That's a piece of hip hop history that we need like the rap Indiana Jones to find. Noted that at the time the rapper's agent- I love this type of shit, right? And you made can't sure tell. that the interview never came out. It is worth noting that Drake was in the ESPN studio where Wiley works, shortly after the Drake. track Control was released. In 20- Oh my God, look at what SZA looked like before all the plastic surgery. Studio huh? where Wiley works, shortly- That is literally a different... I almost didn't recognize that was SZA. 
Man, you was beautiful here, sis. I hope you, you mean you didn't think you was. After the track Control oh, was released. In 2016, Drake collaborated with DJ Khaled to release a track where he mentions Kendrick as a boy from Compton and makes a reference to his interlude for free. Like your boy from Compton said. You know this dick ain't free. That's not a shot. In 2017, shot. Lamar releases the hard part four, in which fans began to wonder who these lines are dedicated to. Around my name, nigga, you lame. And when I get at you, homie, don't you tell me you was just playing. However, this may also be addressed to Big Sean since they did not get along at that time either. In 2019, Drake gives her Which is around the time I think the element uh og verse was recorded so that's around the time that's why all respect to j shot. cole and kendrick lamar i have a lot of respect for those guys because they also continue to you know stay true to what we started started with and it seems like you could think that everything was okay between them but kanye west confirmed in an interview in 2021 that lamar and drizzy are still on bad terms smoking on your top five to no. nine. Oh! Nine. Smoking on yo. They're clearly in bad terms still. Yeah, like I said, the, the big the smoking on yo top five. He, Kendrick is it? Kendrick just not not puss and niggas is not used to that. That's what it is. What's the you name tonight? Kendrick is the like resurrection of pop big. He's like of that vein of energy. You feel what I'm saying? He that's more even. But a baby who the goat. Then I make the shit about the numbers. All I know. Mm. What do you think about their hidden rivalry? Mm. Let us know in the comments. I recommend you go Man. check out the next video about the dark side. I'm telling you, bro. Let's. Uh, we need this battle to happen, man.